How's it going? Charles Bonston here. Today we are going to be going over a book that every one of us has one of those books where you just read it and it hits you. It could be a nonfiction military book, it could be a business book, it could be a marketing, sales, social media, it could be a life story about something that really hits home, really resonates with you. Today we're going to be talking about that book. I cannot tell you the last, actually I can tell you the last time this really happened to me was that when I was coming out of college, I didn't do well in school and I read the book Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway and then I read the book uh, Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People and I said, wow, you can actually read to become better at whatever you want to do and it just changed my mindset. I thought that if I was bad at school then I was going to be bad at life. I was going to not be successful. That's what I really thought and it's because I wasn't doing good and that's something that, you know, schooling can change. Until then, I've read a lot of books that have really changed how I think and feel and, and everything else, Neuroplasticity by John Kehoe and Dr. Shell Helmsetter. Those are two people that I highly recommend. This is another one. I, this is the impact, and this comes at a time where I need it most. You know, it's one of those books that, or one of those articles or, or movies or YouTube clips that you see that motivational or that, that one thing that just, Wow, that could not come out a better time. Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod and the reason this really could not come out a better time is that because I've really struggled in the mornings. And it's only been recently, it's the summer in New York City and everyone's excited and you're just out and at night you have dinners and parties and da da da. And then you wake up in the morning and you're groggy and you're like, why can't I have the excitement and the enthusiasm that I did last night? Or you go consecutive days of just bad mornings. Just, you just don't feel motivated, you don't want to go to the gym, you don't eat right, and then it affects your entire day. Well, that's exactly how I've been feeling for the last month until I read this. And literally, I just finished it, so do not... I will come back with another video on how it's affected me. But essentially, what he says... He got into a car accident, a head-on car accident when he was young. I think he was around 18 or 19. He was definitely in college. He actually died at the scene for six minutes. He stopped breathing. His heart stopped pounding. And he was resuscitated in the helicopter on the way to the hospital. He broke like 12 bones. He had permanent brain damage. And it just wasn't a good situation. He could have easily felt better or bad for him, or he could have easily felt bad for himself. Instead, he didn't. He took action and he created a great lifestyle, but he just didn't feel invigorated in the morning. He would wake up late. He noticed that it affected his whole day, which is exactly how I feel when I go to bed late, is that it affects my whole day. I cannot tell you how much this has changed his life, let alone what it will do to my life. It actually gives me a structure and a routine in the morning. So he calls it savers. Savers, S-A-V-E-R-S. S, silence. A, affirmations. V, visualizations. E, exercise. R, read. And S is scribe, as in journal. So I'll tell you what I did. I actually wrote it down. You can see it right here. I don't know if the camera will focus on it. Um, but essentially, this is what I do. He says, before you even do any of the savers, drink a glass of water. So I did this this morning. You can see the enthusiasm. This is literally day one. It's, I'm so excited to continuously do this. And so I, you drink water. You sit in silence. So he recommended, actually he didn't recommend, someone else recommended Headspace. And Headspace, I just went through it today, and it is amazing. It's an app on your phone, and it look I don't have my phone around me, but it's a little orange thing, so check that out. Affirmations, I wrote my affirmations down, so I have it right here on a piece of paper. I visualize with my headphones on, which are uh, Bluetooth. Then I journal in my Jack Canfield uh, daily gratitude journal and he says to do it where it's it has it by the day quote which is for me our deepest fear it's our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure it is our light not our darkness that most frightens us I read the whole thing this is by Marianne Williamson and then I go exercise I cannot tell you how much this has changed my life you gotta pick this up 
Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. Those are my two favorite social media networks. I have to get everything in by five minutes. So pick up the book. It's amazing. Let me know if you have any questions.